Oh. <coughs> yeah, I think it's for any firm in town really to lose so heavily. Uh, they've been doing so well, but they've always been struggling to get hold of a bench, haven't they? And uh, once the starting 11 doesn't work, they've got hardly anything to change things around. So that's been the problems, unlike uh, Mr. Baker, who's had a full bench, more or less, to choose from today. I, th I think, uh, first and foremost, Neil, we, uh, we need to congratulate you and the playing staff and everybody behind the scenes here at League Town on what has been a fantastic season, finishing second, and uh, in other years, it would have been enough to see you up there. It might well have been. We've said that for a number of well, years. I don't, know. I don't know what's happening, here, Neil. Your microphone's very, very quiet. Don't know why. I don't know. Let's try it. Go again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're there. Yeah. I got the wrong mic. You got the wrong microphone on, that's why. That's live radio <laughs> for you, isn't it? Yeah, well, congratulations. It's been a superb season. It, it has. Yeah, it, it's been tough, as every season is. Uh, I think you speak to most managers and most players now, they're ready for a breather, ready for a rest. But we can't, uh, not yet anyway. We've hopefully got another week to play. And uh, it, it's, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a tough week. Uh, certainly, uh, I believe we play Ron Corn. You, you play, you play your own corn. A um, little bit of news is that their goalkeeper Tabner was sent off straight red card. He'll miss Tuesday's game. Uh, but let's just reflect because he's a little bit like deja vu, isn't it? We we were here this time last season. It was Ron Corn Linnets, and they just hit you completely unawares for the first twenty minutes, and, and literally the game was over. We can't let that happen again, Neil, can we? I, I made that point at half time. Uh, I said it's irrelevant today, now because. Uh, it's half time. Well, you can't start games like that because uh, you know you play a good team and they'll punish you. We, uh, our start in the last few old games hasn't, hasn't been good. They, they look nervy. Uh, I, I can't understand that. You know, experienced players being uh, nervous, particularly in front of their own supporters, uh, and they've got to conquer that uh, for Tuesday. Well, I think they will. Uh, they're a, they're a year older, hopefully a year more determined than they were last year. And uh, the, the, I've said all along, the playoff games are a lottery. Second play fifth, third play fourth, that doesn't matter. They're one-off games, anything can happen as you saw last season. You know, people are saying, oh, we need to win our last game. We don't want to be going to work and there's no guarantee we'll be going anywhere. Uh, we could be on our holiday. Yeah. So I, I don't read anything into form, momentum. People talk about we had momentum last year. We won at Marine. Uh, Marine had no momentum. They went to Workington and won. So they're one off games, and what happens on the evening uh, decides who goes through to the, the final. I mean, today you needed to be at it, really. You needed to be professional. You needed to manage the game. I think you did that. Uh, the shock was getting caught uh, to go 1-0 down. Uh, I was having a quick look across at you and you were not very happy. No, it, 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 it's not a shock when we can see from a set play, is it? Uh, you know, we've been on about it for the last few weeks, which surprises me with the height and uh, in the team. We shouldn't. Um, but after that, we, uh, we actually scored from two set plays, which is pleasing, you know, to see Ollie and... Uh, uh, Scott, uh, Ollie uh, has got on the, you know, got his name on the score sheet a few times of late, and it's nice to see Scott doing that. He got it in the four and against column today, so he, <laughs> yeah. he didn't do bad, did he? Yeah, uh, and, and I thought once we settled, which was 20, 25 minutes into the game, I thought we played some good football. Uh, thought we continued that in the second half. We were much more aggressive uh, in the second half. We got a lot more regains. And uh, having said that, we still conceded a couple of chances and Danny made two fine saves. He made two great saves, didn't he? Yes. Uh, within a couple of minutes of each other, both off to his left-hand side. So that gives him a bit of confidence. I mean, what do you do now as the, as the management team in, in conversations with the players? Because obviously they're going to need a couple of days to recuperate. The game comes thick and fast being Tuesday. Uh, you normally train on a Tuesday, so uh, what's the plans? We'll, we'll train Monday. Uh, I've just said to you, you've got to give yourselves the best possible chance uh, of being in the best physical condition you can be first and foremost for Tuesday. 
that means uh, rest, recuperation, uh, eating well. Uh, I can't control that. Right? They, they're not at a professional club, but they've got to, like I say, give themselves the best chance. No beer tonight. Um, okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we're allowed one or two, but uh, listen, they'll hopefully they'll realise what a great opportunity they've got, and uh, not not just take it on the night, prepare themselves in between because that's just as important. I, I remember uh, when we were at Crew, and we had a week from the semi-final to to the final, and. Uh, our, our fitness coach at the time was a guy from Lillyshaw, and he says, "Look, you you can't uh, you can't drink. It stays in your system for over a week. Now it's all right saying to seasoned pros they do it. Well, uh, the seasoned semi pros will do it as a as a different thing. But listen, they've got to give themselves the best chance, and that, that's all I can ask." And again, we want uh, the crowd out in numbers on Tuesday night, Neil. Uh, we need them down. They can be a 12th man. They've, they've been a 12th man here many, many times, and you've had some great uh, away support as well. So it's going to be all ticket. We know that, but you can purchase tickets online right up until um, the, the, the last minute. And also, there might be somebody available in the clubhouse, I think, David, didn't you say? I think, yeah, you can come and go into the clubhouse. They'll be <coughs> making an announcement on social media. So keep your eyes across the link. But you need them there, Neil, don't you? We, we'd love them there, and I'm, I'm sure. We'll have a damn good crowd, and, and as you say, I, I've mentioned it in my program notes. The the support of Vale Park, the support we've had here all season and away, uh, has has been good, and it's it's all part of what uh, what we achieve in the end. Up, you know, that they're as much responsible because of the support they give us, and away from home, it's uh, when when you go to some unfriendly games, unfriendly teams to see fifty league fans there. It's a great tonic to me and the players, and uh, all, all I can guarantee them is that we'll we'll have a real good go. We'll do our best, and if that's good enough, we'll uh, we'll be playing next weekend. I mean, I remember earlier on in the season you played Everton Colliers away and and, and thumped them, and then obviously really really matched uh, a team from a higher division in the Staffs County Senior Cup. So you, you, the players can do it, can't they? Can perform at a higher level. I have no doubt about that. Uh, and haven't for a, a few seasons now, it's getting there. That's the hardest part, getting there. Because uh, the top six clubs in the, in the league that we're playing in will hold their own a league eye, believe you me. Um, I, I, I know that because I've seen quite a bit of football playing the league eye. But to earn that opportunity, you've got to, you've got to go up, you've got to get promoted. And you go into that game with our best uh, wishes and support. We'll be obviously here on a Tuesday to uh, to cheer along and hopefully to win. Yeah, one step at a time, I suppose. That's right. Okay, Cheers. that's uh, Neil Baker.